Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech OK. For today's video, we're going to be talking about how to put collars on collarless jig heads. I'm going to show you three different methods you can do this. I think, you know, it's quite enough important because if you buy jig heads with collars, they actually come with really big collars, they'll spoil your soft plastic layers and things like that. So these three methods will actually help secure your bits and not damage your soft plastic layers at the same time. I have a few items in front of me. Basically, you can use anything else to, you know, supplement all these type of items. This is a bobbin with rod building thread. I just need the thread. I have a piece of monofilament leader. I think this is about 30 pounds. It's soft. I have a lighter, a razor blade, super glue, and a scissors. You don't really need much to actually do this, but I'm just gonna show you like, you know, a short demonstration on how you can actually put collars on these type of um, jig heads. So guys, we're back. Uh, I've changed the camera angle. We've got a jig head here that we're gonna show you for the first demonstration, the fly vise. So what you actually need, it's a 20 pound mono leader like this, or maybe 30, depending on what you want to use, and a lighter. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to light this monofilament up until it becomes liquid, just at the tips, and then I'm just going to put it on here and build a ramp. Might have to do this two or three times, you know, just to make sure the ramp is big enough. Might catch fire on you like that, but don't worry about it too much. Just put your mono on here. Just keep doing it until you, like, you know, get as much as you need. Be careful, it does catch fire. And if this liquid plastic drops on you, it kind of really hurts. So guys, I've got my ramp. It's not really covering the entire jig yet. What I need to do is actually take it off. I need to light it again and I need to turn it in my hands so it actually like, you know, goes around the whole thing. Just gonna show you guys now like that. Just light it like this and turn it around. Just be really careful the plastic doesn't fall on you. It hurts really badly. Just keep like, you know, rotating it like that. So it forms a nice circle around until it's cool. So guys, if you can actually see, this is the little piece that we put on before. It's melted, it's black, but it's perfectly like, you know, spherical because we went like this with our hands. Make sure it dries very evenly, so you get a really nice outcome like that. So what it actually does, when you slide your rubbers inside, it actually prevents it from sliding backwards, like a little stopper. But it's not as big as a normal type of um, collared type of jig head. So you can actually do this. This is actually the simplest method you can use, and then it's strong as well. You can't really pull it off or anything like that. So guys, this is actually our second demonstration. Just gonna be using the thread and the bobbin, and I'm gonna wrap the middle here with thread until I get my desired, you know, ramp amount. Just gonna wrap it as I normally would for anything else. So guys, once I finish wrapping my thread here, I'm just gonna take some super glue and put it on. So once my super glue is on, I'm just gonna leave it to dry, and I'll show you guys the result when I'm done. So guys, this is actually what it looks like. The one with um, thread and super glue, it's actually a lot stronger than the one that use mono, uses monofilament. But, you know, it's a lot more complicated to make than just burning some mono and putting it on. Okay guys, we're actually at the third method now. We're going to be using the thread and bobbin and the 20 pound mono leader as well. So I'm just going to wrap it as I did just now with the other one. Just wrap it as I normally would. Something like that. Just cut that tag end off. Get my piece of mono. I'm just gonna bend it until it has a bit of memory. So just like that, if you can see, there's this little L shape with the mono. Just gonna cut that off until I have a piece that looks like kind of like this, like a little L shape, just enough so I can put it on the thread. Just gonna wind this mono onto the thread. Until it looks something like that. Just gonna get my scissors. Let me cut that little end off a little bit. I actually need to put the super glue over here now, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to show you guys this. If you can see the little piece of mono strand hanging out here. So what this does is actually like the second method with the thread. That's the same thing. But when it goes in, the mono actually goes the other way. If you can see like that. And it actually sticks into the soft plastic. So this is how you use mono and thread to actually make another type of um, bait keeper for your colorless jig heads. So guys, if you can see, I got a bit of plastic on my hand here. I kind of burned myself a little bit. But yeah, that's actually the end of the video. So if you like this content, um, learn something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>